Hello fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about Transformers War for Cybertron, Prowl. So here we have Prowl in his normal white and black uh, colors. And you will see this is the Cybertron version of Prowl. He even has the lights on the back in his Cybertron form. Now this guy is definitely... Definitely, definitely, definitely cool. Coming in at five and one eighth inch tall. He comes with a white looking gun. He also has this part here on the back, which can let him fall, attached to the rear of his weapon. So you can have it like that. That is up to you. To me, I just want to go back to the G1 aesthetics and have that be part of his car mode now prowl is kind of easy to transform but we'll take a look at his weapon real quick here we go very nice simple weapon and there is an alternate that you can put this uh mode here you can't really put it in his hand like I was trying to do that more side swipe but you can put it on his arm here or take the other side and, and put the light on there lots of option there for articulation prowl can move his arms up and down around he has a bicep swivel single bend in that arm wrist that rotates around on a peg as far as waist swivel goes he has one right here at the hip his legs can do a full Van Damme move forward and back has a single bended knee and as far as ankles go they can go forward and back and he's got a little bit of a rotation Now, as far as heels goes, he has these supported heels so they can stay flat to give him a little bit of that maneuverability and the ability to stand up. Now, he has these wings here. You can do the old-fashioned put him back so he looks more like the old prowl we see in the cartoon or put him out depending on how you want to display now his head can turn around, look up and down just a little bit. Full 360 on the head rotation. Now as far as transformation goes, first thing you want to do, take his head, rotate it back, kind of push it back. You're going to take it, this front here, his waist, unplug it from that, and you'll see it starts popping up and comes over the head. Now you want to just pull this back and you'll see this portion here just folds up. This goes behind there. Then you want to take this part, flush it, and push his head all the way in. Now as far as his arms goes, you need to straighten them out to where they're like this on both sides. Now you'll see that he does have a little peg here. And you'll see... It's nowhere else on the vehicle. So once you have it, you'll just take this, rotate it in, and pull it down. The peg will go right in there. So it'll flush it out really good. Same thing for the other side. Take it. And I'll bring it down. Now that side didn't have a peg, but... It has a hole for it just in case. So you want to rotate the waist here, the hips. Take these sections here, fold them in. And you're just going to rock this on this joint here to get the leg to fold into that portion there. You'll push up on the ankle. Take the leg. And you'll push it into there to get a nice and flat there it is on the top part 
Same thing with the other side. Take that off for visual representation. You want to just fold it in and then you can clip them in. Now you can take the legs and fold them in at the same time when you're folding it up. Then you want to just take these doors and you'll see everything just fits in nicely. And you'll just take it and fold it in. Now he has these clear plastic wheels which are very very cool and there you go you can take his weapon part here you can just leave that on or you can take his weapon and put it at the top or rotate it around depends on how you want to display it in car mode and his regular mode that is up to you now he has these extra ports here you can buy 3d printed um, shoulder cannons here I have one just for display purposes it's I bought it on eBay a long time ago but you probably can find it on Etsy it's just a shoulder cannon and if you get two of them, you can just put it here. Now to reverse the transformation, you just do the opposite. You just pop these out like so. Take the legs, take this off, take the legs, and you want to just split them up hot. Get my little finger in there and separate all right let me just take this and just fold it out bring the leg down pull the ankle pull the heel rotate that around pull these forward fold them out you want to pull this part out, take his waist part, then push on this part here, get it, and it folds right into this cavity here. And there you go. And then you would just want to pull back a little bit so the head has clearance, like so. And there you go. Now the waist does attach on some clips, rotate the head around, take the arms, get them all back into shape. And you can take these arms and rotate them around like so. I say the, the option is yours. So there is Prowl. So if I bring in his mold mate, Blue Streak, we can see them side by side. Now Blue Streak did have some shoulder cannons there. So that was a precursor for Prowls here. Like I say, you can buy these extra parts for him. So remember, shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.